Hi there and welcome to the June 2024 edition of Recruiter Flow product updates. This month we've got a host of new updates for you and some of them have been requested by you folks. We are also super excited to let you know what are the new things coming in Recruiter Flow next month. So the first feature that we have lined up for this month is something that you guys have been requesting for and I'm super excited to announce that Recruiter Flow is now available as an app on your phone. As you can see from my screen, this is the Recruiter Flow app on my Android phone. I can just click on the app. I'll be taken to the home page where I have the search bar. I can just look for any candidate or a contact. I can view the details of the candidate. I can see what jobs they have been added to, their experience, education, their activities, history, files, scorecards. I can even add notes, calls, or even tasks. I can edit the profile. I can add tag or view tags. I also have an option to add a star rating, which I'll talk about, which is a new feature. And finally, if you want to add a new candidate or a contact, we have those options as well. So this app is present on both Android and iOS devices. I'll have the link on how to install this app on both these devices in the description of this video. So go have a look. So coming to the second major update, which is candidate rating. Let me be very honest with you. Top candidates are a different breed of people altogether. And as a recruiter, it becomes very crucial for you to ensure that these folks are engaged. So we came up with a feature wherein you can mark these candidates inside recruiter flow and later use this list to maybe run campaigns or automations. So as you can see, our candidate rating is available as a field in the table right now. If you don't find it in your table, you can just edit columns and add it. You can directly give a rating to a candidate over here by just clicking on the stars. You can even enter the profile and give a rating here. You can clear the rating. All the interactions are tracked under the activities tab so that you can view them later. Once you are done with this, maybe you can go to the advanced search. You can use candidate rating as a filter and then just select four or five ratings as a criteria. You'll find the list. You can save this search and maybe you can then run a recipe on top. I've already established a recipe over here wherein anybody who enters the save search of uh, the candidate star rating will be sending out a campaign to them just to make sure that these are engaged. So you can just run these campaigns and automations to ensure that your top candidates are always engaged. Now coming to the third major update, which is actually a set of enhancements we've brought to MPC based on the overwhelming feedback that we've received from you. So here's what we've done. Whenever you're creating a new MPC link, uh, I'll just name this link here. So we're giving you an option to preview the link so that you understand how exactly your clients look at the link. So once you click on the preview link button, you'll be able to see the exact view that your clients will be seeing once they open the link. You'll have all the details. You will have the interaction buttons over here. At the same time, if you're planning to share this link with people outside of your recruiter flow contact database, you can see how the link is shown to them as well. And second thing that we've brought to MPC is let's say you want to send the link inside a campaign or a bulk email. You can just copy the link here. You can go to any campaign. I've just created a campaign over here. Uh, I can just add the link. I'll just show you this. So I've added the link to the campaign and I've saved. Once this uh, campaign is pushed to the contacts, you can come back to your CRM settings and track all the opens and all the people who have viewed the campaign and taken interactions. Right now you can see the opens as zero because we have not really shared this campaign yet. And at the same time, the third major thing that we are showing is candidate visibility. So let's say you've created a MPC link with a set of candidates and you want to reuse the link. You can just turn off a candidate's visibility and hide them from the client's view. You can also unhide them later. This is something that we've brought to MPC. Uh, so yeah, these have been the major three updates for this month. And we also have a very exciting announcement on what's coming up next month, which is AI matching. Uh, this primarily works as a feature where in, you know, whenever you add a new job, the AI matching feature will automatically recommend who are the top candidates for this job. We are currently still in the works for this feature and we are excited to let early users get their hands onto this feature. So if you're interested in this AI matching feature, 
we have a form attached in the description of this video just go ahead fill up the form and our customer success team will reach out to you and get you on board to this feature so yeah these are pretty much the features and all the exciting things coming up in retreat flow let us know if you need any help we'll be more than happy to help you